Hello, my name is Andreas Fichtner. I'm a geophysicist at ETH Zurich working on inverse theory. One of the very long-standing problems in inverse theory is to find not only one, but a whole range of models that are consistent with our observations. For example, having not just one, but many models of the Earth that explain the arrival times of seismic waves would provide us very important information on how accurately we actually know the internal structure of our planet. So here I want to introduce you to a new method that achieves exactly this goal in a very efficient way, and this is known as the Hamiltonian Null Space Shuttle. To illustrate the concept, we start in a cartoon space where a space shuttle explores the neighborhood of planet red and planet blue. When the shuttle is at rest, it has a potential energy U determined completely by its initial position x0 within the planet's gravitational field. Then, the shuttle briefly starts its engines, giving it an initial momentum P0 and an initial kinetic energy K. We add this kinetic energy to the potential energy, giving us the total energy H. Now with this momentum, the shuttle starts flying along some trajectory. The geometry of the trajectory is completely determined by Hamilton's equations from classical mechanics. The total energy H is constant, it is preserved all along the trajectory, which implies that the potential energy U is bounded above by H. Now, how is this relevant for our problem? To see this, we simply rename and redefine two variables. First, we rename X0 into M0, which is now a set of acceptable model parameters. Then, we equate the potential energy U with our misfit that measures how well M0 actually explains our observations. Then the shuttle again flies along some trajectory corresponding to artificially time-dependent models M of t. Again, the total energy H is constant, meaning that the misfit all along the trajectory is bounded above by H, the value of which we are free to determine via our choice of an initial momentum P0. Now, in summary, this means that every model M of t along the trajectory is acceptable, meaning that it is located within the null space of our inverse problem. Now we translate this by analogy to an example application, which is a travel time tomography. In this tomography, sources at the bottom emit waves recorded by receivers at the surface after some travel time. On the basis of those travel times, this distribution of wave speed can be reconstructed. We then let the null space shuttle take off. As time progresses, it travels along a Hamiltonian trajectory, thereby producing many alternative models that also explain the travel time observations to within their uncertainties. This means that all of the tomographic models in the movie are equally plausible. There are many variations of this theme, largely depending on our subjective choice of the mass matrix and the initial momentum. And these choices closely relate the null space shuttle, for example, to Hamiltonian Monte Carlo and to gradient descent methods. They also enable quantitative hypothesis testing, as well as a preferential exploration of, for example, smoother or rougher alternative models. If you're interested in more technical details, please have a look at this open access article.